Stay with Senator Dale Ryder. Senator, what did you think about Governor Quinn's budget proposal that he rolled out today? Well, I know it's football season's no longer. This was the gubernatorial equivalent of a. Uh, the governor came before the General Assembly today and said, well, it looks like we're going to take in a lot less money than we choose to spend, so we're going to have a deficit. And the only action that he has really proposed is a 25% increase in marginal uh, personal income tax rates here in Illinois. So the budget creates another deficit of between four and five billion dollars. It increases spending overall. What it doesn't do is do anything to really affect our jobs climate. We've lost a quarter million jobs in Illinois over the last 12 months, 650 a day on average. The budget really doesn't do anything to address that issue. The budget doesn't do anything to address the budgetary spending reforms that we have talked about in this building for years, and most prominent of which is controlling the unsustainable rate of growth in the state's Medicaid policy. Um, the Governor Quinn has continued Governor Blagojevich's policy when it comes to enrollment procedures. The Democrats have backed him up. It's a once eligible, always eligible program. And what it's done is it's grown Medicaid to such a size in the state budget that it's, it, is, it has crowded out education spending. That's why the governor here is asking for a tax increase. What he needs to do is bring the size of that Medicaid budget under control. There's been talks about uh, the, the cuts to the education mm -hmm. to scare up the tax increase. Do you agree with those thoughts? Oh, I don't have any. I don't have any doubt. I mean, the governor wants a tax increase, and so what what he is trying to do is put before the general assembly the old Washington Monument choice, which you have to raise taxes or we're going to have to hurt the kids. And the problem is, most lawmakers in this building don't buy that because they see all the other areas of the budget where the governor is wasting money and wasting it at a prolific rate, and the public doesn't buy that anymore because they see the same thing now.